Tape over the hood of the car, over the cab of the car. Because you're not going to be able to see over the dashboard yeah. from inside the car. This is a one time you can get on. Okay. This is a one time you can get on. <laughs> Dude, the Explorer has the EcoBoost in it. Worst turbo lag ever. Turbo lag. Turbo lag. Turbo lag. Turbo lag. Worst turbo lag than a Supra. What? Worst turbo lag than a Supra. Oh God! Was that the one where they were like, "We can't decide what kind of charger oh, we want, yeah. so we'll put"? Oh, both. oh God! No, no, that has a, that that essentially gets rid of that problem. That was that's the uh, the Lancia Delta S4. Yeah, for for yeah. yo, dog, I heard you like 600 horsepower of an inline four. <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh yo, right, dog, I heard you oh, like right, huge compression ratios. Yeah, enormous compression ratios. Oh, dog, I heard you Hi, my tiny little car can go zero to sixty in two and a half seconds on gravel. <laughs> Too bad those cars aren't legal anymore. They are not legal anymore. <laughs> Lancia Delta S4. Goodbye. Which you actually you could they did sell road going versions of them. They sold road going versions of them for a while. They were uh, S4 Stratadales. Well, the only 250 of them exist. They only made 250. That was the requirement of any any car you put into this. You have to make 250 homologated homologated road going versions of it. So I don't know what the heck those must have been like to drive, other than absolutely. Really pants wedding. Which one are you driving? Well, zero to sixty in two and a half seconds, seconds is pretty impressive. Yeah. Six hundred HP. Six hundred horsepower out of an inline four. Well, this is six hundred horsepower. Yeah, out of a V8 with a supercharger. Also, this car weighs like twice as much as that thing does. This is you stuck two inline fours and glued them together. So with equivalent, you know, engine, so you would have about as much horsepower as a Veyron if this oh, had the same engine. That same compression, yeah. If this had the same engine compression. Yeah. But it has a HUD up, so it's like, I was like, But then again, if you subjected the Cadillac engine <laughs> yeah, to the atmospheres, it would probably, uh, it would probably end poorly. I can't remember what they had the uh, the Lancia's engine up to. It was like I think it was three atmospheres, and they were getting a thousand horsepower out of it. Yeah, I'm sure that car, I'm sure that engine would just explode if you did that for anything longer than a few seconds. A few seconds. I'm pretty sure that car, uh, that engine, is not designed to run that, or is not designed to uh, compress. That. Compressed that hard. Though I don't know, man. If you had a free piston engine, not that you could really drive a drive a traditional drive frame with a yeah, free piston. Yeah, I was gonna say, how exactly are you gonna do that? You'd probably have to use like a turbine. You would use the pressure to push a turbine. ATS. Okay. The problem is turbine-driven cars have their own problem. So you have to be revving ridiculously fast to get any power out of it. But once you do, you get a retarded amount of that. The FRS Scion's pretty nice too. Oh, oh yes it was. Oh, that FRS is so great. And it felt so good to sit in it and actually have stuff the right size. You may have to register for the Oh, that's fine. I think it's a He did have a couple people in there with him, they all went together, and so they just swapped out. Excuse me. XTS, Escalade. Um, I don't know. I think we have a, uh, probably the yeah. 
think you're asking back seat to check that place? Yeah. Okay. I'll take one of the I'll check to see what's going Oh man, I'm almost out of, uh, out of uh, memory already. Yikes, I've been recording pretty much constantly. I guess I'll shut this off for a moment.